I'm gonna explore the Doom Cave. I've always seen this in the corner. It's kind of ominous. It's kind of weird. And there's like a main road to the College Avenue and a Walmart over there. Pretty sure homeless hang out, but you know, this is the kind of things we'll be looking for is to live in a cave. Um, and like I said, I'm an optimist, but I think we got to protect the downside here and, and, and try to build that city on Mars as soon as possible and secure the future of life. The sales pitch for, for, for going to Mars is that um, it's going to be a cramped, dangerous, difficult, uh, very hard work. Um, and like I said, I'm an optimist. Uh, you might die, um, and um, that's the sales pitch. With Starship, we're aiming for full and rapid reusability. So, uh, you know, we obviously need to accomplish that. That's not uh, <laughs> done yet, but. Um, Looks like some people have resided here. There are trash and uh, things strewn about. I'm not sure how far it goes. It looks like just a room. I don't know, man. But I thought, wow, what a, what a cool little nook, you know. She kicks you out. Gotta go somewhere. Hey dude, strip malls, you know, the best place to film because nothing says America like strip malls. So things kind of developed pretty quickly this morning after streaming. Uh, some people suggested doing an open Zoom call and I'm pretty okay with that. I was a little hesitant because... You know, I'm a snobby, high-nosed Capricorn. I have high standards. But I trust that everyone will have adequate lighting and decent video quality. Maybe learn a way to set up your uh, camera that you have lying around as a webcam. There's firmware updates. Maybe you could do that because, you know, I'm not settling for blurry, shitty audio. Because I've seen some pretty awful uh Zoom call meetings, and even, you know, amongst Nature Bats last and some of the other people, it's like, oh, come on, do a better job. Anyways, isn't this fucking depressing? Look, this, like, boarded up shop. This is America now. I'm sure it's the same way in Europe, right? It's like this, these boarded up, you know, skeleton buildings, skeleton buildings. Meanwhile, they're building new places over there. So what are we gonna? What's what's the point of all this? We could ha we could literally fix homelessness, right? If we really wanted to, but I don't want to go down that. So that's developing, and I spent thirty five dollars on Omaze. You see the ads all the time in your um, in your feed probably. I just started getting them. It's a legit company. I entered like thirty five dollars into this uh. 2022 Mercedes Sprinter van that has an $80,000 conversion in it with like solar and fucking heat pumps and all kinds of shit. So if I got that, they're decide they're I'll know June 22nd or May 5th or something like that soon. Um, yo, my whole life would change. My whole fucking life would change. I'll find a way to afford the insurance on it, and like I'll, that would be a setup. I, Cause I see these cats around here, I see these fine looking chaps around here driving these big, you know, outdoor rugged conversion or conversion vans, and I'm like, how the fuck do you afford that? That's like a it's like a small house, you know. If I got a honey with me too, just saying. Um, so that that's cool. So open Zoom. A potential for winnings um, and also school let out here so I just forgot how dead ass this town gets when school lets out uh, it feels like a small town kind of ish now way quieter I don't know I see I saw a beautiful couple sitting over there and they just look kind of bored it's like oh yeah how was your day honey 
I'm not saying we need to be a hippie open fuck community, but it's just a little, it feels selfish, right? It feels a little selfish, don't lie. Uh, my fast was good earlier this week, and I'm still kind of getting back with my schedule. I know my content lately has been really kind of vulgar and pretty like abrasive, uh, but what, what I was trying to describe, other people have experienced this too, clearly, with these types of individuals who are, you know, paranoid schizophrenics or something. Um, it's just a, it's a consequence of a failing system, society, a failing civilization. And failing civilizations, things start to unravel and people recede into these delusional states of mind and thought patterns. And it happens to be that, um, you know, that's a classic trope. That's a classic go-to. I'm certain people even in Roman era or, you know, fall of Greece, there were guys like I was describing that were like, it's all a lie. Who says that, you know, I can just see him now here. Imagine this is the fucking Parthenon, right? This is the modern day Parthenon. Like, the, the counting, they're doing it wrong. How can you trust their votes? How can you trust this? They're like, they're like that quintessential fucking character. Like, it's a trope. It's a stereotype. But it's accurate. It's true. There have always been people like this. Just like there have always been, like, blonde bitches driving fucking Mercedes SUVs. With, they look like, they look like blow-up dolls. They look like, like they're just money and, and, ugh, dude. And, and, you know, soccer, like, dads with, like, you know, two kids. They're just, they're in their own fucking trip, dude. And yet, yet we are in the background rate having, you know, entering a world two point, almost three degrees Celsius. This isn't really happening. I'm a goof. Okay, I need to uh, get some dinner stuff. And uh, things are getting pretty goddamn intense with Russia, Ukraine. You know, once you start throwing nuclear, uh, nuclear for two, definitely. But when you start throwing out threats of using chemical warfare, that just ratchets up the whole fucking game. We're in uncharted territory right now, and basically they're, we're kicking Russia from the G20. We've already kicked them from the G7. Uh, I don't see how this is going in a good direction, and, and like, it's very much leading to like some big war shit. Okay, just, you know, you guys know, you guys know. Okay, you're the best. I'll chat y'all soon.